Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams. How are everyone doing today? And I'm going to discuss this topic, what I think about Tessa Blanchard might go to WWE or AEW. Here's my opinion about that um, question. If Tessa Blanchard would go to either company, I could see her wanting total freedom in her storylines and her booking. I, I do see her um, asking for like freedom of her creativity and her booking. And I feel like she want to be treated as respect. She want to see herself wanted respect and treated respect. And she demand respect and she want the woman's division, whatever woman division she at, she's like, I want these women to have the greatest woman division there is. Is she coming into one of these companies? And also, I feel like Tessa Blanchard is a big advocate of intergender matches. And I do see that um, Triple H doesn't have no problem doing intergender matches. And also, I see Triple H doesn't have no problem of Tessa Blanchard and women wrestlers who want respect within the business and to gain respect. That's her and hit her and um, Triple H relationship with each other. Um, AEW, you got Kenny Omega, who is in charge of the women division, and you got Tony Han, who's the president. And Tony Han keep telling us in Twitter and um, articles and interviews that he doesn't want intergender matches in AEW. Um, and Tessa is like, uh, like, I don't know. And I do see Tessa Blanchard gonna be in Triple A, Lucha Libre, with her soon to be husband. Um, but I feel like she is like sitting down thinking about, um, what's she gonna do? Because I feel like the issues around Tessa Blanchard is that other wrestlers do, do not like her, dislike her because of rumors of her being a bully and being nasty with the other women's wrestlers. And I feel like she's gonna have problems with the women wrestlers because I feel like Tessa is similar to like Mercedes Martinez, Shayna Baszler, um, Sasha Banks, Bailey. Um, they take wrestling seriously, and they and they are passionate about wrestling. They don't like the whole diva era and being a diva and and act like a wrestler. She's not down with that. Tessa, Tessa's all about business. Tessa's all about making sure that everyone should get respect and get respect by hard work and dedication. And I feel that there is so much things going on behind the scene with Tessa, I do see that her father is talking to Cody. That's what I feel. I feel like like her father is talking to Cody. And I have a feeling that Cody will be under under um what you call it. I know that Kenny Omega is charge of the women's division, but Cody is in charge of the male division. And I feel like Cody will take Tessa Blanchard under 
his under um, Tessa, meaning that he will book Tessa matches and storylines and and other things because of Tessa's father. However, I feel like Kenny Omega will feel a certain way. Like why Cody did that, you know? And there's lots of stuff going on in AEW backstage with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks and Cody and Tony Khan. Like everything is co- is confused, it's confusion and uh, miss, um, miscommunication and disorganized and it's too much. And I feel like Tessa going to be the one to make AEW to wake up and make AEW to be an alternative brand in professional wrestling. And I feel if she come to AEW, it gonna be a shit storm. It gonna be lots of people showing their true colors about about what they all about. I'm just saying. But if she go to WWE. E, I feel like Vince McMahon is going to be her challenge because Vince McMahon doesn't like women wrestling, doesn't care about women wrestling, do nothing about women wrestling. The only person to make Tessa Blanchard to sign the WWE contract it's Triple H and Triple H do better work on the woman division than Vince McMahon. And I could see Tessa Blanchard might go to NST for Triple H, but when it comes to Vince McMahon, it's a problem because I feel like Tessa want freedom and creativity in her book and in her storytelling. And I could see her doing a lot of things in WWE and AEW. But the issue is there gonna be lots of things gonna be exposed about who is sexist in professional wrestling, especially in wrestlers bookers, promoters, presidents, because there is some strong underlying sexism in professional wrestling. And Tessa know this, Tessa see, see this, and Tessa is exposing that there's women who is sexist towards other women and men, and there is men who is sexist towards women. And I feel like if I was her, I would take my time and don't rush into things and just look on both deals and also the product. The product is a the product is very important like which better woman division is better WWE or AEW and I feel like AEW needs her WWE doesn't need her that's the difference WWE doesn't need Tessa Blanchard AEW need Tessa Blanchard because the Tessa Blanchard could build the woman division in AEW if Kenny Omega 
and Tony Khan allow her to do things what she want to do in AEW. And that's going to be a huge problem. WWE doesn't need Tessa. Okay? I'm just being honest with you. Vince McMahon wants to sign up wrestlers as possible so they couldn't go to AEW. But however, there are stories that Vince McMahon is sabotaging talent. Look at John Mosley. Look at other people who got fired from WWE. They say the same thing too. Vince McMahon doesn't care about certain people who doesn't make him money or trying to make his wrestlers to look ignorant and stupid and foolish. And I feel like if, like I said before, if Tessa is go to WWE, Triple H has to be in charge in WWE at the create at the created um, writer or the boss of the company because right now Triple H Triple H doing an amazing job in NST because I could see her going to NST and make a name for herself there. But if Tessa wants to go to AEW, I could see her doing the same thing to Vince McMahon. She want creative freedom. That's the key ticket. She want creative freedom. If you're not giving her creative freedom, she walk out. So, this is Ty Williams. Good day.